In Oswego, not every high school student is getting their education in a classroom. Three days a week, Oswego ninth grader Allison Connor arrives at Man in the Moon Candies for an internship that's part of her curriculum at the Buck School. I like the chocolate in it, but I also like learning about the history of chocolate. This would be real world learning. I get to learn how to handle, how to interact with other people. Established just two years ago, the Alternative Junior Senior High School offers specialized learning plans for children at risk of not graduating. Since attending the new school, parents say they've seen remarkable changes, including better Regent scores. He regularly attends school now. He likes going to school. He is starting to actually think about his future, which he did not before. But that could all change next year. As it stands right now, it was we built a budget that we took to the voters that was approved with the, the Buck School being restructured back into the middle school and high school. That may not necessarily mean the end for the Buck. The district has offered parents a chance to keep the school if they can come up with a sustainable plan to foot the $800,000 bill. What I don't think that Mr. Halsey or the Board of Education understands that due to some of these children's special needs is that in the long run, if we close down, they're going to wind up spending much more money. Parents have already begun the process of applying for grants, but only have four weeks to present their plan. It's an uphill battle, but Buck School parents are up for the climb. Reporting from Oswego, I'm Kelly Cowan. We're willing to do whatever possible to keep it open.